there, my name's Anya from Captions. Um, welcome, we're happy to have you, and thanks for giving us a try. Uh, in this short video, I'll just briefly explain to you how you can build your own template. So by now, you probably have received um, a login link where you can create your own password. If you hit that link, you'll be taken to a page where you can log in for the first time. All right, so if you hit the link in your email, then you'll be able to pick a password and log in for the first time. I'm just gonna show you my account to give you an example. Um, so this is the dashboard where you end up um, once you want to build your own template just select templates in the menu on the left to Start building your own template. Just hit the add button in the top right corner That'll open up the steps for you to build your own template um, It's pretty simple if you ask me you just add the title of your template You can add an introduction to kind of explain to the user what kind of caption they'll be filling in and you can even add an image to make it a bit more engaging. Sections and questions is also a pretty straightforward step. Um, you have all the controls, so you decide how you set it up. Um, the question types, we have a bunch of them. So it really depends on what kind of data you want to collect. Um, if you want to know more about question types and what works best for you, just check out our help center. There's a lot of information available there. Um, just to give you an example, I'm just going to set up one section and one question. Um, the next step is to assign uh, the template. So let's say you want to assign it to a specific team or a specific team member. Uh, you can do that here. And like I said, again, you have the power. You set it up the way you want it to work. So for an example, I'm going to say my colleague Stanley, he has to complete this caption. Um, I can also make it a scheduled assignment so that he has to do it on a specific day, let's say once a week on Monday. That's possible as well. And the final step is to add rules. Um, so let's say if something is not okay or not safe, then obviously you want something to happen. Maybe you want to add a label that is possible under rules. If you want to know more about rules, again, check out the help center. There's loads of content available to explain the finer details. And the final step is to publish. So once you do that, your template becomes available uh, in the app for the user to complete it and uh, make it a finished caption. So that was my quick explainer on how to build your own template. Like I said, there's loads of content available in the help center to give you a more detailed explanation, but I hope this is enough to get you started. Um, so good luck and let us know if you need any help.